Welcome, my artistic friends of the interwebs. I'm going to do my very first sketchbook walkthrough. That's correct. I know tons of sketchbook videos on YouTube and Facebook and whatnot, but none of those are mine. So <clears throat> I, I can't tell you how many sketchbooks I have. A whole lot. Um, this is just a one that I grabbed randomly. To be honest with you, I can't really remember what all's in it. Uh, but we're about to find out. Oh, by the way, FYI, this is um, a Master's Touch mixed media sketchbook. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. Now, I know it says $7.99 on it, but that's not what I pay. I always watch for the Master's um, Touch and the Fine Touch stuff to be on sale for 50% off. And that's when I snag them. And I usually buy a half a dozen sketchbooks at a time. I use a lot of sketchbooks. Okay, so first page all right so this is a liz hubber e-l-i-z-a hubber h-u-b-b-e-r she is um an amazing uh, artist she does pole dancing uh she's a model and all that in a bag of chips so this is just basically a real basic sketch just to kind of give me an idea of the layout because i wanted to do a piece of artwork featuring her on the pole doing her thing so that's not meant to be a finished piece, just kind of like an idea of scale and whatnot. This is her um, on the pole. And yes, you can find uh, tons of photos of her completely nude on the pole. Her Facebook, though, and her Instagram are definitely not places where you can see that. But I won't get into all that. I love her shoes. Okay, so this is a barn that I did. And I wanted to experiment with doing a sketch and then coloring it in with gouache. I think this is like one of the very first times I ever attempted to do that. Okay. One of the things that I do with my sketchbooks is I use them as a way to practice certain things. So one of my weakness, uh, weaknesses when it comes to art is... Um, or weak points, whatever you want to call it, is hands. And you'll find that most artists feel the same way. Hands and feet are kind of like their nemesis, you know? And so I try to make a habit of practicing just doing hands. And so you'll find that all through my sketchbook. Okay, well, and on this side, you, as you can see, are the feet. Yeah, I guess I can move this over a little bit so you can see both pages. Okay, this is the feet, and I practice the same thing. Feet. And I'll do, sometimes I'll just spend all day doing feet. Eliz Hubber, I love her stripper shoes. Very cool. Okay. This is kind of funny because this uh, buddy of mine is an absolute freak for Bigfoot. And he kept, he kept bugging me to do a Bigfoot, to do Sasquatch, Sasquatch. So I did. He's a big bow hunter. So I kind of like combined Sasquatch with bow hunting for him. He absolutely loved it, which was cool. I don't know. I don't remember the backstory with this particular sketch. No idea. But, um, yeah. And I don't remember the back uh, story of this one either. To be completely honest, no idea. Okay. This I do know the backstory to. This is a girl named Sherry. Now, this was a photo that she sent me in her kitchen circa 1980 81 82 somewhere around in there sherry and i grew up in the same neighborhood and sherry was every guy's dream girl i mean she was absolutely amazing well um i'm still friends with her to this day all these years later so fun story she used to sunbathe as a teenage girl on her the roof of her garage and me and some of the other boys in the neighborhood we used to go and we, we literally would uh, be like in one of our buddy's backyards that butted up against hers. And we would be spying on her as prepubescent young boys would, you know, I mean, it was a special time in my life. But she, she's still an amazing person, but she was, yeah, she was all that in a bag of chips. Okay. Oh, by the way, that sketch truthfully does not do her beauty justice. It really doesn't. Okay. I don't remember the backstory or who this is, although she's got some big old lips. Let's see here. I For a while there, I was really into doing boats. So this was a practice of me with the boat and then, of course, the shadow of the boat. Okay. I do not know the backstory with this blonde um, 
all I do know is that I clearly I used uh, color pencils. Um, I do not know the backstory of this. No idea. Kind of bizarre shape to the head and whatnot. Sometimes I'll see something uh, either on Facebook or Instagram or wherever, and I'll actually grab my sketchbook and, and do a quick sketch just to kind of give me an idea. This is, I want to say, gouache. This is a poppy field. And I want to say I used gouache, pen and gouache, I'm guessing. And then I don't know the backstory of that model, but yeah, there you have it. Let's see here. This, I don't know the backstory of this either. But it looks like uh, some kind of a, well, it's a headdress, obviously, but some kind of maybe a sugar skullish type of thing. I don't know. All right, a Liz Hubber. I was, um, I did a lot of sketches of a Liz for a minute. I'm guessing it's Elizabeth Hubber. Owls. Uh, this is, feels like a gouache, so it's probably ink with gouache. Um, I love doing owls, and the main reason is because owls remind me of Cambria Lee. And if you don't know who Cambria Lee is, it's really too bad because she was an amazing artist, an amazing YouTuber, and um, an amazing model, and an amazing friend. She passed away a couple years ago of um, complications of lupus. And um, yeah, it seems like yesterday. It's kind of crazy. But owls were her thing, and owls were like, as she would say, her spirit animal. So every time I see an owl in real life, I think of her. Every time I see a photo or a picture or a painting or whatever of owls, I always think of her. And I hope that is that lasts me the rest of my life. Hopefully, I always that never changes. Okay, I do not know who this is. Um, red horse. I love doing horses, and and people are always asking me to do horses. I don't know why this is in red, but. Um, yeah, I love doing horses. I also love doing water lilies. This is, I'm sure, a Chuck Richards inspired um, drawing. Because Chuck Richards is a, a, a guy I know. He's an amazing outdoorsman, uh, fisherman, um, a crazy good custom knife maker. But anyway, um, when he goes out fishing, he'll take photos. And his photos are just, they're amazing. They should be in magazines. They're just amazing. Okay, so, you know, I put my fingers on that, um, and now I got paint on them, so I'm going to screw up my, I don't know, I obviously, nothing on this page, I obviously started something and it got sidetracked somehow. All right. Uh, this is a model named Ursula. She sent a photo and she asked me if I would do a drawing of her, and I did, and then um, she liked it so much, she, she actually ended up sending me another photo uh, it's down down a little ways but yeah that my guess is nikki blade that's my guess because it kind of looks like nikki blade okay this is a japanese samurai obviously fun fact i've been to japan i've been all over that country it's a beautiful country and one of these days i'm going to get serious about doing like landscapes and uh street uh paintings and so i took a ton of photos while i was in japan one of these days, I'm going to start doing something with it art-wise. Okay, so back to the one girl who sent me her photo and wanted me to do a sketch of her. She uh, sent me this nude. And she's like, can you do, you know, me in the nude? I'm like, yeah, absolutely. And that's basically what she sent me. Beautiful, beautiful girl. This is a model named uh, Kat Hobbs. K-A-T. The cat spelled K-A-T. H-O-B-B-S. And she's an amazing model. Okay, and I don't remember who that is. Super cute, though. Yeah. Now, I'm kind of known for doing... Um, I'm known, listen to me. I'm kind of known for doing angels. I've had work hanging in fairly important um, art galleries. They were my angels. What was referred to as my angels paintings. But they were not like this. I didn't do angels that were like humans with wings. I did angels that were, were my own special... Um, design, but definitely not humans with wings. But I did this because somebody wanted it, and so I did it. This is, just, I, you know, it's funny because I remember doing this. I ran across a painting of a poppy field landscape, and the reason I made this real quick uh, sketch uh, was because I wanted to remember that the poppies up front were large, and then the poppies as the 
fields rolled became what looked like a sea of, of blood or sea of red. And then you had the trees and whatnot. But um, just perspective-wise, I was very impressed with that. I won't turn that boat. I guess I got to turn this over, though. Horse? Did I? This, the funny thing about this, I did this as a, a quick sketch of a horse, but I used the pen. And the pen that I used um, was from um, uh, Planet Fitness. So they like a little bin of pens. And so every time I go to Planet Fitness, I grab one. And I use it as a medium for, for sketching and whatnot. It's just what I do. I did the same thing over here. I don't remember the name of this model, but I think she's a... I'm pretty sure she's a stripper. But anyway, ass up, face down, what can you do? <laughs> you know, what can you do? All right, let's see here. All right. Ah, oh, the puppy. I love dogs and I love cats. I need to do more of them, for sure. People ask me all the time, by the way, to draw or paint or whatever their pets. And I've done it on occasion, but very rarely. But I might start doing that more often. Now... All right, put in the comment section who you think this is. <laughs> it is my interpretation of the of Venus uh, de Milo. Um, yeah, Venus. Men adore you. Okay, now this is a photo that this guy here on, uh, on this side, his name is Jay, and he sent me a photo of him and his son at a successful deer hunt. And um, he wanted me to do a drawing of it, so I did. And I'm actually thinking about doing a painting yeah sunflowers who doesn't love sunflowers everybody loves sunflowers sunflowers and poppies are my favorite okay so there's a squirrel there i don't know if you've noticed that or not yeah and here's chuck richards fishing he's an amazing fisherman okay now yeah oh one of my favorite people ever um she is uh and i guess i can say this because she actually just announced it, but um, Brit Brittany Matthews is her name. She is a model, and she also just announced that she's pregnant. But here's the funny thing about Brittany. She, she does tattoos, and all of her ink, most of her ink, not all of it, was self-done. Don't believe it? I have videos to prove it. Yeah, she's an amazing person. Okay, and I think that's it except... Yeah, I'm going to flip it over here. Okay. Um, sometimes I'd pick up a sketchbook and I start from the wrong end. Okay. Now this is, um, a interpretation of a Modigliani painting, which would explain the elongated neck, uh, and the elongated nose, totally Modigliani. And I'm not comparing myself to him because, you know, one of the most brilliant painters ever, but, um, yeah, Modigliani style. This has an interesting backstory to it. Uh, the model's name is KB, and uh, she actually had a photo she had uh, had with her holding these pumpkins in front of her breasts. And um, the funny thing about it was uh, I did the rough sketch of it, and then I posted it. Oh, I don't remember what uh, our uh, page, but one of the, I belonged to a million of them. But I posted it, and um, a fellow artist, uh, took um, shots at me about it because apparently, now this was before it was colored in. She thought that I was making this woman's breasts look weird and the nipples weird, which I uh, defend the right to do, but that's not what was going on. I actually commented back to her with the photo of KB holding the pumpkins. And then I think she realized they were pumpkins, but she was pot committed at that time, decided that I was a misogynist that was harming women, blah, blah, blah. None of which is true. And, um, you know, here's my thought on that. And I'm not calling this person out in particular because she's just, you know, just one person. But, um, and by the way, the only person in, that I can think of in a long, long time who actually had anything negative to say about my art. But, um, here's the thing. Keep creating. Doesn't matter what people say. If it's moving you and you're creating art, then you keep doing that. Do not concern yourself with the critiques of people that you don't even know. You know, literally, just keep doing you. If they don't want to stay in their lane, then good. They don't stay in their lane, whatever. But, you know, you just continue to be focused. I don't remember who said it. I think it might have been Andy Warhol. That He never concerned himself with critics or what they had to think. It, basically, he said when, when they're deciding whether or not your work is good or not, 
you just you're on to the next piece you're creating something else you don't you don't look in the rearview mirror so um i started a painting of kb based off of this um concept um yeah i'm kind of excited to see how that's going to turn out but yeah an amazing model she also does pole dancing um and she spells her name k-a-y-b-e-e -E, k-b find her on facebook and follow her she got an amazing OnlyFans. Her her OnlyFans page is straight fire, as the kids say today. But anyway, that's that's all I got for my uh, sketchbook. I have a million sketchbooks, and every now and again, I will yank one out and we'll go through it, and I'll tell you what I was thinking or what my concept was or what what materials I was using or whatever. I like to buy the mixed media ones because it gives me options. Um, it's funny because. I have in the past bought ones that were just for sketching or just for drawing or whatever, and they couldn't handle any kind of uh, media on them other than a pencil uh, or a pen. And the funny thing is there were a couple of images that I'm like, man, I really want to color this in, and I couldn't. So I try to always get the mixed media ones if I can. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Let me know what you think. For those of you who um, are supporting my art channel, I really, really appreciate it. For those of you who have checked out my Instagram and whatnot, I really appreciate that. So there will be links below if you're watching this on YouTube. Please indulge. Um, yeah. Anyway, I'm working on my Patreon too, but I'll get that in another video. Everybody take care. See you.